All right, good morning, everyone. Nick Reagan here from our first alert desk. This is your five on five plus five minutes of local news and headlines brought to you from our live five newsroom. Beautiful day starting out over Charleston there. We do have to start this morning, though, with some developing news that we just got in a little while ago. The South Carolina Highway Patrol says that one person was killed in an early morning crash in Orangeburg County. That crash happened around 425 in the morning this morning on US Highway 178 near Morgan Drive. A 2017 Chevrolet Impala was heading east on Highway 178 when it ran off the road and hit a culvert. The Impala then hit an embankment and flipped over. The driver died at the scene. The victim's identity has not yet been released. Charleston police are investigating a shooting at Forest Park Playground in West Ashley that left one person dead and another hurt. Police responded to the park yesterday afternoon. Upon arrival, they found one person dead. Another shot. Those injuries for that second person appear to be uh, non-life-threatening. Now, detectives with CPD, they've determined that this was an isolated event. Information remains very limited still at this time, but we, we, we know there were no suspects and no arrests have yet been made. If you have any information, you can remain anonymous when you call Crime Stoppers of the Low Country, or uh, you can simply send a tip over to CPD as well. Another shooting took place around the same time in North Charleston after a fight escalated at an apartment complex. Police responded to Morris Baker Boulevard yesterday following a report of a fight involving a weapon. When they got there, police found a man with a gunshot wound. He's expected to recover. According to investigators, the victim had been approached by two men armed with a gun. The three of them got into a fight before one of the men shot the victim. Police have not yet made any arrests in that case either. Authorities in Mount Pleasant, they say they've arrested a man on child sexual abuse charges. The South Carolina Attorney General's office says this man, 50-year-old Richard Leland Morrison, is facing seven charges in connection to the sexual exploitation of minors. Authorities say they acted on a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that led them to Morrison. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division has charged a Beaufort County man in connection to a shooting that left two dead and two hurt. Jamar Smith Haggood is being charged with two counts of murder, one count of attempted murder and possession of a firearm. Investigators say Smith Haggood was the man who shot into a group of people following an argument on December 17th off River Walk Boulevard. Surveillance cameras allegedly caught video of him pulling a gun and opening fire, killing twin brothers Tranquan and Trajan Fripp. In Colleton County now, the fire rescue there has responded to a two-car crash. Now, that crash actually happened on Wednesday night. We're just getting the information this morning on Interstate 95 near mile marker 42 southbound. That's where they found two cars had collided, sending one of them into the median, the other off the road and into a tree. Now, officials, they tell us that this all happened in a construction zone, though it's unclear what actually caused the crash. Both people in the convertible that hit the tree suffered multiple injuries and were taken to the hospital. The other four in the Jeep were also transported to the hospital, but with non life threatening injuries. All right, well, taking a look outside once again, uh, we've got a wet weekend ahead for us and a bit of a chill this morning. Let's check in with our first alert weather team. And good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Joey Sovine. Chilly out the door this morning. Grab the coats once again. We'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Some high clouds out there will dim out the sunshine just a bit today. So chilly to start mild this afternoon, 60 at noon. Then we go up in the low to mid 60s this afternoon. It'll cool back down. You'll still want the heavier jackets or the coats if you're headed out on your Friday evening, but tomorrow morning not as cold. So mornings getting a little bit milder and high temperatures as well. Upper 60s to around 70 Saturday, Sunday. We do have a small chance of a shower on Christmas Eve. A little bit of rain chance headed in here on Christmas Day with highs in the upper 60s. All right, thanks, Joy. Well, there's a look at your current temperatures on your screen right now. Looks like we're sitting at about 53 degrees uh, right now. Now we've got one more story here to bring you up to speed on before we go. Uh, two councilmen with the Mount Pleasant Town Council say that they've gotten anti-Semitic flyers delivered to their homes. Uh, this comes after the first reading of a potential hate crime ordinance for the town. 
Councilman Daniel Brownstein and Carl Ritchie say that they got the mail. Uh, they got. They both got that piece of mail. Now Brownstein says that he even referred was referred to as a traitor and said the ordinance would not silence him. He says that the town can only do so much and that the state should step up as well and pass a hate crime law. Now, first vote on the ordinance passed unanimously. The final vote is set for the next meeting, which is in January. All right, well, that's a look at your headlines from around the low country. This has been 5 on 5 Plus. I'm Nick Reagan. Thank you again for joining us.